Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be discussing a subject which is quite important and close to my heart and that is why you should start your YouTube channel straight away and not hesitate. I'm 39 years old, it's very very important um, at this stage to have something different on the sideline. In my case this is becoming my uh, full-time kind of gig and um, I know there's a lot of videos out there why you should become a YouTuber, why you should become uh, start a new channel um, when you're over 40 and over 50 and 100% um, correct, agreed. Some of those videos are absolutely amazing. Uh, my argument now is why you should start your YouTube channel when you're in your 30s, and uh, especially if you're in your early 30s. And uh, I think we're gonna get to some very important points here. So in my case, as you can see here, I have just a desk and my computer and my TV and uh, my microphone. Sorry if the audio went off there. And um, I think that the first thing is it's very, very easy to film a video. Everyone has a smartphone these days. You don't need a fancy microphone. Uh, most of my videos, in fact, my most popular videos are not filmed with any fancy lights, with any microphones or anything like that. And um, a lot of people are intimidated. They think, well, I can't just sit down and post and start filming and post stuff. That's exactly what I'm doing now. Why don't you try? Film something that's on your mind. And, you know, you never know, you know, who's going to connect with that. And that's something very important I've found with YouTube and, and that is the connection I've found with a lot of people. Um, I've found very close personal connections and similarities in my life with a lot of people, um, people that are, you know, commenting in the comment section. And I think in a whole, this is a whole other stage of, um, you know, something where it helps me with my, how can I put it into words, with my social anxiety. Um, I have, I suffer from big time social anxiety um, I'm not sure if you've seen that video that I posted a, a few days ago on my social anxiety, but um, it's difficult for me. I have trouble going out. I have trouble being in crowds. I have um, motivational issues, and being on YouTube is just something that's changed my life completely. I uh, get to talk to you guys. I get to find out what you're interested in, what you're not interested in, and um, you know form that personal connection with with people which helps my social anxiety so just on 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 its own from that point of view from the the psychological point of view and the therapy in the way that it's helped me is worth it just by itself so that's just my first view on starting your youtube channel um i do all my editing myself i don't have any editors i am a video editor by trade i'm also a photographer a web designer and graphic designer so it is kind of my um, trade um, although I did work in the dental and medical industry for 12 years as a IT and sales manager combined and um, you know so I haven't always been in this industry but this is you know what I learned many many years ago 20 plus years ago and um, where I'm going with this in this day and age things were let's just go back to the old days things were a lot harder in the old days especially a few years ago even um as recent as that to um get videos done to get thumbnails done to get designs done um websites done have your own shop and the day and age where we're in now in 2024 with ai and with all the um quick assistance and and uh, web-based programs where you can build websites where it can help you edit videos um it's a lot easier for all of us um, especially you guys, if you don't have those, uh, you know, those special video skills or anything like that, you really, really don't need that. Take a video, um, even if it's just a sample for yourself, put it into one of these free apps, have a look. You'll be quite motivated to see how good it actually looks. And um, I would say start off with your YouTube shorts as well as your long form, but start off with your YouTube shorts. That will get your audience to, to rise a bit and to build up a subscriber database. And then when you are posting long form videos, you're gonna see, are those people watching your videos? Do you need to change your niche? Um, it's also very important, something I've learned on YouTube, and that is to always make sure you're selecting the right category. Because what happens is you post, up, post a video like I'm doing now, which is going to be posted under the how to and style category. Now, if this is posted under entertainment, comedy, it's not gonna reach the right people. People that are looking at this type of subject are not going to click on this thumbnail, even if it's interesting, even if it's the best thumbnail, even if it's a Mr. Beast thumbnail, it's just the nature of it. So getting to the financial benefit of having your own YouTube channel is immense. 
So we're going to talk about sponsorships and that is that a lot of bigger firms and companies are sponsoring smaller channels these days, which is fantastic. So those big companies that are paying for sponsorships, paying you their hard-earned money for your videos are actually going to promote your video. And I'm going to tell you why. So the type of companies that are going to give you these sponsorships are just not the smallest of companies, which is a great thing. And they're actually going to help you with your video and help you to get viewers because they're not going to pay you to promote a product and not post a link, at least a link, of that video on their social media. And the odds are companies like this that are paying for sponsorships have quite a, quite a big audience, which is fantastic. And that's going to help you to uh, drive your retention rate and as well as your growth in audience and your watch time. And I think that's one of the benefits to having sponsorships. Now, YouTube's requirement is only 500 subscribers now to get your monetization. Now, with YouTube Shorts, it it has never been easier to get your 500 subscribers. Yes, you need to get your 2,000 watch hours. For me, I would forget about, I think it's about 4 million, if I'm not mistaken. Please forgive me. You can comment down below of the short hours that you need to get monetized. All you need to do is sit down, make a video like this, and I'm telling you, you're going to get those watch hours. If the first video doesn't work, try another one. Speak from the heart. Are you having struggles with your YouTube channel? Are you having success with the YouTube channel? Are you having um, great things happen at home, bad things happen at home? Um, You know, so there's, there's ups and downs of life, and people are going to relate to that. So there's always something to talk about, and the platform of YouTube is just fantastic, the way that it reaches the millions and billions of people the algorithm people are against the way that it works but it actually makes a lot of sense the way that it works and um, another thing is when you post your video if you are already a youtube uh, content creator uh, one thing from my experience is it kind of turns you off when you post a video and you see it's 10 out of 10 or even 5 out of 10 hell even a 3 out of 10 but those numbers are lower than your 1 out of 10 Um, what will often happen is I would say about a month and a month and a half later, this is just an average from from my own experience, that video is going to start rising. And I wouldn't exactly panic and post a new video straight away. I wouldn't go into um, paid ads or anything like that. That's just going to drive it to the wrong audience. You're going to bring down your watch time, which is going to trigger the algorithm in the wrong way. I would give it time. So if you have posted videos and you're feeling like nobody's watching, they are going to. Believe me, it happened to me. We were a tiny channel. I make YouTube shorts with my daughter with really, really stupid jokes. And, um, you know, we have a few long-form videos where we go out with a family, family vlogs. Um, The one video that went viral was a video that I didn't think was going to take off. It was me sitting down telling my life story. Um, No lights. Um, It did not look like this. I sat in the same room, no microphone. And if I'm not mistaken, we're sitting on about 190,000 views now. And that's what got us monetized really quickly. I come from South Africa. We live in South Africa. And the YouTube community or creator community is relatively small here. There's some fantastic, great channels. um, um, But it's quite difficult, I think, to take off here in South Africa. And our majority of our audience is from America and which is absolutely fantastic. The people that have commented, majority are from America, um, with exceptions of other countries, and we thank you very much, and I love you guys very, very much. So we were very privileged, is what I'm trying to say, to reach an audience that's on the other side of the world, and it is possible. So um, I would do it from that perspective. Now, getting to the point of why you should start a YouTube channel when you're 30, even younger, um, mid-30s, and certainly over 40, like I've said um, I've mentioned before there's some fantastic videos out there on why you should start your YouTube channel when you're over 40, 50. Please, if you've seen those videos, follow those. They are fantastic. Just go for it. My perspective on this is now if I had started this YouTube channel nine years ago when I was 30, I would have hopefully had the success I've had in the past six months and um, been a lot more financially dependable on YouTube right now. What I've seen in six months... Um, and we've only been monetized for about a month and a half, is absolutely life-changing. It's been a very difficult road for myself, as you've seen from our previous r- videos, and um, life is changing. Things are evolving. You have to become an entrepreneur these days, and being a YouTuber, I believe, is is that. It, it's helped my anxiety. It's helped my 
phone anxiety as well. It's helped with so many different things and I'm able to now look forward to a future with you guys, with YouTube and focus on creating good content as well as running my side business. So there you go. I don't really, I'm not able to use my proper skills every single day with my graphic design, my video editing um, in my normal day-to-day -day job, which I love doing and I am now, which is becoming my day-to-day -day job. So the most important reason, and that's why you're all here, is why should you start your channel in your 30s? And that is that the way that everything is going these days, the way that the, the economical world is just going, the way that education is evolving, things are getting more and more difficult, there's more and more homework for kids every single day, um, everything is getting more expensive, everything is getting more advanced in terms of technology, kids are learning things that we only learnt in our teens and it's getting younger and younger the age that they're learning certain things and the world is evolving very very fast so while you should be starting your channel now when you're 40 and over if you're in your 30s now and you wait until you're 40 that requirement of when you should start actually start your channel is going to be at 30 or 25 or even 20 and you're going to be at 40 and it's pretty important to start that because if you don't you're going to be five to ten years behind however old you may be right now and um, you know it's a little bit harder to start things then with the advance of technology you can only imagine what people are going to be doing in five to ten years time in terms of YouTube and editing and the quality of editing and you need that time to learn and as well as I spoke about the economy in terms of what people are earning it's just people are not earning enough and what you could possibly do is set yourself up a business here, see it as a business and a future for your family and yourself and a happier family with more freedom, uh, financial freedom as well um, with this YouTube channel where you could call yourself your owner. You are the owner of your own business and you don't have to answer to anyone and should something happen to the economy or you have to leave your job or you are, uh, heaven forbid, retrenched, you have something to fall back on and it's already started, um, you know, all those years back. Um, but by all means, like I mentioned before, if you are in your 40s, if you are in your 50s, it's not too late to start now before all this AI and all this technology overtakes us, shall we say, um, rather overtake that. And um, that's my perspective on, on why you should start a YouTube channel when you are in your 30s. So guys, I just want to take a, a moment here to thank you all if you are at the end of this video. Um, if there's any questions that I could answer, if there's any way that I could help you in terms of advice, editing, um, where to get um, copyright free music from, how to go by the books, um, please let me know. I am going to help each and every one of you. I am going to um, answer all the different comments. And um, so let's just create a, a great community here and... Um, if you did enjoy this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up. It really does help us reach a lot of people with the algorithm and it helps us and our family and our business as well in terms of views. And um, until next time, be kind to each other.